It's fantastic to be welcoming Lumiere back to Durham. Uh, it's the fifth time that we've uh, had Lumiere here. It's now the largest light festival across the whole of the UK. That's a fantastic accolade for us in uh, Durham and the North East. Two years ago we had 200,000 people thronging Durham streets over the four nights. We're looking at probably similar numbers this time. I think it's become a real highlight of the cultural calendar here in the North East, but one which we believe now has national significance as well as the largest light festival in the UK. It's such an amazing city and everybody's so welcoming and friendly and always trying to see what they can do to help. So it's a really fantastic place for us to come back to. We always have international artists, but this year I was really struck by how many we've got. So over half the programme, I think, of people coming from far away, whether that's Sweden and Finland or America. Really a huge, um, Lumia has a huge pull for people now. We're doing this lovely piece with the artists Schuster and Mosley in St Oswald's Church, and it's 2,000 pieces of hand-blown glass that are arranged to represent the universe, the cosmos, if you like. And they're working with students from the, from the glass centre and they're going to be individually hung and then video mapped all in this lovely old um, Durham church. A, a, a fantastic spread of installations again to look forward to this time, uh, whether at the cathedral or Durham Castle, uh, along the riverbanks, uh, Durham Marketplace. It's uh, an occasion that obviously is uh, very positive for the economy. A lot of visitors come here from right across the world. We love the fact that for most of the audience it's like a real spectacle. They come to see the works, but behind the scenes for months and months beforehand and leading away, we're working in the community to um, inspire creativity, to educate, all of that stuff. We always put in a proportion that you can actually play with as you go around, whether that's for kids or adults. Adults always become kids when they're allowed to muck around with all of that sort of stuff. Is there anything that stands out for you this year? It's always, I get asked this question every time, but you know, how could you choose between your children?